between the bites, where we're not as smart as your average nerd. I'm Gary Arnold, one of your hosts. I'm a Utah-born guy and a closet nerd enthusiast. And I'm Arash Bakshanipur. That's Arash. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about some of the uh, latest news in the tech and business world. We're going to talk a little bit about Amazon, Netflix, uh, a new smartphone that's on the market right now, and some local news here in Utah. Yep, and to break into things, Amazon recently acquired Whole Foods for $13.7 billion. That's a lot of dollars. That is a lot of dollars. You know what you can buy with $13.7 billion? What, what can you buy? You can buy the Dallas Cowboys worth $13.7 billion. You could buy SpaceX, your own NASA. What would you buy with $13.7 billion? Uh, I looked it up. You can actually buy the island of the Bahamas. So you can just retire there and call it good. Not a bad investment. I guess Jeff Bezos was just bored and said, hey, you know what? I don't own a grocery store. Might as well add that one to the list. Yep. So, uh, Interesting news for them, and it'll definitely be Amazon's next step in uh, getting into the retail space. Some other interesting news is we have a new smartphone on the market right now. The company OnePlus has come out with their OnePlus 5, aka the 6. Sure. Not really, though. Uh, this phone is uh, a pretty cool phone. It's uh, well, one of the great things about it is its price point. It's out now for only four hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, there's a sixty-four gig and one hundred twenty-eight gig model. It's got a really fast processor. From the things we've been looking at, is it runs really fast and really slick. One of the downsides may be the camera. It's not uh, not quite up to par. Maybe the, uh, the iPhone, the Pixel, the Samsung, but. All in all, a pretty good uh, valued phone. It runs on the latest version of Android, very slimmed down version. Not a bad buy if you're looking for an alternative in the phone market. Awesome. Awesome. And the next thing we want to talk about is Netflix. Netflix is doing some really fun stuff. Gary, remember when you were a kid and the Goosebumps books that we would read? And they would tell you to go to one page and tell you to go back 20? Awesome. It was really fun and interactive, right? Yeah. Where you choose your own story. Netflix is doing the same thing with shows and movies. This is groundbreaking stuff. That's fun. That's really fun, right? And, uh, and they're saying about already 50% of their adult viewers are already watching kids' shows, so you might as well make it a little more interactive, right? That's awesome. Would yeah. you watch them? Yeah, my kids would love it. There you go. I would love it. Uh, the last little piece of news that we have is uh, here in local, Utah. One of uh, a great company here that we've worked with in the past is Jive Communications. They're a uh, telephone, a VoIP provider for businesses. They offer great services and products. And they just recently announced they're breaking ground on a brand new building. Uh, the company has grown a ton over the past few years. There are over 700 employees, and uh, when you look at this, over 100 million in revenue. So they're building a new building in Pleasant Grove, uh, just off next to the BMW dealership there on the freeway. It's going to be 5,200 square feet, four-story building. Uh, huge, huge building, and that's a very exciting thing for them. Really exciting. Awesome, awesome. And off to our next segment. The gadget we want to get into this week on Between the Bytes is the Amazon Echo. It can do a lot of cool things from updating and engaging your thermostat while you're away to make sure you're efficient and even controlling your home's lights. But even the interactive stuff is where it's fun. Alexa, tell me what's in the news today. Here's your flash briefing from Reuters TV. Here are today's top stories. He built a $68 billion company and now he's out. Another cool thing you can do with the Amazon Echo is once set up with your Amazon Prime accounts, you can even get things delivered to you uh, with your Amazon account. With the next day shipping, easiest as can be. If you run out of toilet paper, that's the first thing you go. And lastly, for some, for some comedic relief here, Alexa, tell me a joke. You know what a Freudian slip is, right? It's when you say one thing and mean another. <laughs> and that's this week's Between the Bites Gadget. So welcome back to Between the Bites. Today we have a featured guest. We will have regular guests on our show from you know, IT professionals to business leaders. Today we have our friend Edwin Mendoza, who is the V Vice President of Quality Assurance at Executech. Right. Uh, we just wanted to chat a little bit about uh, about what he does and some interesting things. So, so tell me, Edwin, what uh, what do you do at Executech? So, um, a couple things that I do. Obviously, uh, quality assurance is a big thing. Um, just go around and meet with our clients, meet with our techs, make sure that the quality and our standard is always there. 
And also, I'm also a technician as well, so I still take care of my clients and make sure that they're also taken care of. And that's that's the main um, main gist of it. Uh, I also have meetings that I have to deal with a, a lot and meet with our tech ops team and management team as well and discuss you know different strategies for the company as well. So. Awesome. Uh, tell us uh, tell us a little bit about a uh, a recent project you've had, an interesting project that you've gotten to be involved with. Great question. Um, so I think the majority of the projects that I've been involved with are email migrations, for example. You know, migrate email from an Exchange environment to an Office 365 environment with Microsoft. And so uh, it's, it's interesting because most of the migrations have gone a lot smoother over the years than they used to be. And part of that is finding the right tools that are going to make it more efficient. And I think uh, those are one, that's one of the projects that I think we exceed in the most, I think, like when we, you know, migrating emails from one server to another can be problematic. Um, we, you know, typically see a lot of different issues, but nowadays with the right tools, we've been able to really become more efficient, and I actually enjoy doing email migrations you know, more than I used to. That's awesome. So, so tools have made all the difference, really. Mm -hmm. That's correct. What's, uh, what's a recommendation you have for businesses or business owners in regards to their IT tools? I think uh, I'm a big fan of productivity. I think uh, if we find the right tools that can make you more productive, more efficient, you actually get your value on the technology that you're using versus having to worry about technology that's not um, as suited for you and can actually delay you and not help you become more efficient and actually bring in more revenue to the company. So I'm, I'm a big fan of finding the right productive tools that are going to allow you to be more efficient. Do you have a favorite tool or productivity app um, per se? Right now, I'm a big fan of Office 365, I think. Office 365 offers you a, a gambit of, of different tools and, and different um, features, I guess I would say, that can allow you to be more efficient and more integrate and integrate with business just in the business world. I think everybody obviously is on the Microsoft platform and that allows you to, to communicate and interact with other companies and it just be more efficient in the business world. Awesome. Hey, well, uh, well thanks, for, for, thanks for coming in today, Edwin. We really appreciate it. We are going to have regular guests, and we'll probably have you back to talk about something else. And uh, we'll see uh, another guest, a featured guest, next week on Between the Bites. And we're back here in the studio to close it up and wrap it up for you. Before we go, we wanted to leave you with a quick tech tip. There's a lot of reasons your computer will slow down. Uh, a lot of people will call us or we'll hear about it. Hey, my computer's running really slow. An easy thing that you can do yourself if your computer, you notice a little bit of lag, especially while maybe you're browsing the internet, is to go and clear your cache. Uh, delete all your cookies and your uh, search history. Uh, all those files get saved. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> that might be something you do more regularly than others. But uh, it is something that gets stored on your, uh, on your browser and all those files add up and they can slow down your computer. So just navigate to your settings in your browser and delete cookies, your cached cookies, and your browsing history, and you'll probably see a little bit of an improvement. Awesome. And lastly, I want to introduce the third cast member that we're going to be including every week here with Between the Bites. And it's groundbreaking, it's exciting. Go ahead and get us out of here. Alexa, tell me a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock? Who's there? Jessamine. Jessamine who? Jessamine. I'll be right there. <laughs> and that's it for today's episode. We'll see you next week. Yeah.